When I started losing my vision at eight years old, um, I didn't really think too much. I, I don't think um, an eight-year-old really has the cognitive ability to to really think about what that means. I ha had enough vision to do what I call getting by. I actually attended college back in the in the 70s. And by the time I started college, I, I could no longer read the books. It was really difficult to, tr to try to listen to books on reel-to-reel -reel tape. It was difficult to get the information that you were looking for because you, you had to keep spinning the tape forwards, backwards. I put my career aside because I really, really wanted children. My mom was awesome. I knew she had a visual impairment, but it was something that was never an issue because she could do anything. Raising kids with visual impairment is, is not easy. I think any mom, whether you have vision or not, is gonna tell you, you know, listening is really good when you're a mother. <laughs> when I got to know Susan, um, I really admired her from the start. She was very flexible. She was open to guidance. The perfect person to take on a job that really had no formula for it. So I coordinated the, the peer support groups for people with vision loss around the state of New Jersey. When I meet a client and they're feeling despair and despondency because they're losing their vision, what I generally do is show them the things that I, that I use, the tools that I use to flourish in my everyday life. It makes a huge difference to them immediately. She would spend weekends if she had to master some kind of technology so that someone would not consider her unable to do a certain chore. And so I was really kind of awed by her as a person. When I went back to college for my, for my undergrad in 2010, I had no idea what a huge role Learning Now I was going to play in that, that education. I checked it out on the internet to see what it was like. and downloaded some books, ran into the family room and showed my husband. I said, look at this, I, I have the whole book. I have the whole book, I can, I can get to the page I want. It was so exhilarating to me to be able to access a book again the way I once did with, with my eyes. She went back to school, got her bachelor's degree in social work, and now NYU gained her master's in social work. She's just made transitions in life so smoothly. I don't think age would be a limit for her, I don't think even her blindness is considered a limit to her. I think there's a common thread when you have a disability. And if it's somebody that, that needs encouragement, I, again, show them how I've done it and encourage them that they can do it too. I think it's important to realize that you can reinvent yourself really at any age. And I feel like I've done that like many times and, and hopefully will continue to do it. I, th I think that's what makes life interesting. <laughs>